crying his eyes out on his exit from the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. They were 2 new up Uruguay. They thought they were going through. They believed they had done enough. But then South Korea stepped up with a dagger to the heart. A last-minute winner against Portugal. More drama in the FIFA 2022 World Cup in Qatar. And there he goes, the cannibal. The cannibal. The convicted racist is out, out of the World Cup. And it may be only a very small consolation to Ghana. A very small consolation. They would have wanted to have gone through themselves. They would have wanted to have won this game. They would have wanted to be in you know, the next round. Of course, that's what they would have wanted to happen. That's what they wanted to happen. But it's got to be a very good second place to see Luis Suarez sitting there crying. Bawling his eyes out, upset. Nothing he can do about it because their manager made a huge, catastrophic mistake. A little bit similar to what we saw in the in the Germany game and the Spain game last night. Resting on their laurels, relaxing a little bit too much. Nunez off, Suarez off, Palestri off. They had nobody to score their goals. They needed one more goal. And they had around 15 minutes to do it with normal time because they were behind the South Korea-Portugal game because of injuries. They needed, and they had eight minutes of time added on. But they killed, barring Cavani, their killers were all gone. It's a very famous, a very famous moment in the 1999 Champions League tri- final where they were so confident Munich they'd won. They took their best players off. So even if it went to extra time, their best players wouldn't have been on the pitch. Man United still had the majority of theirs. They'd made all their subs and they were all defensive. That's why they crumbled for the second goal because they realized, oh my God, how are we going to win now? We're in trouble. And that's what happened to Uruguay. Oh, we've done it. Oh no, you haven't. South Korea have gone and scored. And he's Shan over there for South Korea. That 91st minute winner after going 1-0 down, Sun, you know, Hunmin Sun picking up his first sort of goal contribution. I think it's his first goal contribution of the tournament. First one I've seen. Maybe I'm missing one. If I have, I apologize. They put themselves through when they looked like they were going out. Portugal, of course, rested a lot of players. I mean, you go through the team. Uh, Costa, Pepe, Neves, Ronaldo are pretty much the first teamers that started the game. Everybody else, you know, kind of, second tier. Ronaldo, again, with another very poor performance in this tournament. I will say that a terrible performance from Ronaldo. Another clangor from him. Uh, Even set up, I mean, great assist. (laughs) Great assist for South Korea's first goal, the equalizer. But they are through Luis Suarez, Edison Cavani, Young Palestri, Valverde, all out. And I have to tell you, this is a beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful scene. Beautiful. And I've seen people say that it's wrong to show this picture. I'm not going to lie. This is my own view. You don't need to agree with it. Nor does anybody else at the football terrace. But for me, after what he did to Patrice Evra, I will never forgive him. For me, it's an unforgivable crime that he committed. Unforgivable. Period. And I love that his international career ends like this. It's just. It is fitting. It is poetic. And against the side that he cheated. He cheated, in my opinion, out of a World Cup semi-final place back in FIFA 2010 in South Africa. This man is a cheat. This man bites people. This man has racially abused people. So I have zero sympathy. Anybody out there giving him sympathy, you need a long, hard look at yourself, my old mucker. you got to look yourself deep in the eyes and go, what's wrong with me? Did I not get enough breast milk as a kid? Did my dad not tell me he loved me? Am I hanging around with the wrong people? Am I a Tory? I don't know. But if you're defending Suarez, there's something fundamentally wrong with you. 
Not me for saying it. It's you, my friend. You just don't know it yet. Glad to see him out. And look, the Black Stars, they will be disappointed. You know, they didn't turn up today. They weren't good enough today, especially in that first half when they conceded the goals they did. Much better in the second. That can't be denied. It was a, it was a fairly even game in the end. You look at the second half. I want to look at this stat. This is interesting. You know, seven versus seven shots in the second half. Far more in it. And I just, yeah, I was disappointed. I was disappointed in Ghana today. I was disappointed. I thought they could have done better than they did. I thought they could have delivered more. I thought they could have kept their composure a little better. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. But not conceding more goals, stopping Uruguay from scoring that third, at least they take them down with them. We may be going out, but you're coming with us. All the talk beforehand, all the chat, all the cocky substitutions by taking off your best players, by taking off your killers, came back to bite you right in that backside. Done, finished, Niante out of here. And remember, you're a guy with dark horses. It's another dark horse who ain't done very well. Sometimes, listen, Joe, you know crazy. Most of the football terrorist community, you, you right there watching, you guys, you know your ball. None of you really in the comment sections were picking Uruguay. None of you were picking Denmark. You didn't. You were like, oh, I don't know. It's the football hipsters. It's the Twitter tacticos. It's the 47 year old men in their mum's basements. Them man. They picked them. They were goddamn awful. And just like Germany, just like Belgium, just like Denmark. Uruguay deserved to go home. They're a footballing nation. Huge sport. Established for what? Nine, a hundred years at this level of international football. They should be doing better. And they left it all down to today. Do you know what? Do you know what really gets my goat? What really gets my goat is that they scored two goals. And you thought, oh, look, they're playing now. They've turned up. And then they stopped. Then they stopped. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. They stopped. They, 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 they struggled. They didn't push properly. Unforgivable. In every single which way. It really was unforgivable from the Uruguayans. Touching on Portugal for a moment. Again, as I said already, they'll be disappointed they lost. But a lot of changes to their first team. So they'll, they'll have that excuse. But again, I said it before. I'd be very, very worried if I was a Portuguese fan. If I was Portuguese, I'd be worried about Ronaldo. Another game. They only played him today, by the way, in, in hope on the counter because South Korea would have to attack that he could score some goals. He's literally in the team today, the stat pad. That's it, Ronaldo. He was in the team to score some goals on the break, some tap-ins. That didn't come either. He set up a South Korea goal. And for me, I mean, how many shots did he have today? Two shots, okay? Two shots. Zero on target. Did he create any chances? Just go, ooh, none. Ineffective. Ronaldo is ineffective. Ronaldo is done. When will people understand this? Listen, Santos, their manager, he probably feels that he owes Ronaldo so much for how good he's been during his time as the manager of Portugal. But he's killing this World Cup for the Portuguese. Killing it. This is the perfect opportunity to give Liao a run out, let him show you what he's made of, prove to you he should be in this team. But no, Ronaldo plays again. Another terrible performance from him, and they, and they lose. But listen, it's a good day today. Uruguay are out. Luis Suarez is quiet. The South Koreans, who I've got a lot of time and respect for as a footballing nation, are through. The only sad bit is, of course, my Ghanaian brothers, you didn't make it through today, and I was praying to God. I was praying to God that you would. So commiserations to you, but you've made this competition vibrant. You've made this competition more fun. Every game you've played in has been enthralling, enthralling from start to finish. So commiserations to you. It, it would have been great for you to have been in the final stages, but it just, just was not meant to be. But viewers, do me a big, big favor and smash the like button. Subscribe to the Football Terrace. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again soon. Thank you.